What's up guys, on the Google Play Store there are so many different keyboards to choose from and different keyboards come with different features. I just came across this amazing keyboard called Chroma Keyboard which packs so many different features such as swipe to type, changing its color with different applications, having so many other customization options and it's an amazing keyboard. Here's my review of it and let's get started. First we look at theming the keyboard. So you generally have three themes, whereby there is classic whereby the color of the keyboard changes with the color of the app, there is a fixed color where you get to choose the color and there is AMOLED whereby the keyboard is black so that you can save some battery on AMOLED screens. You also have a night mode option whereby you can have it activated at a certain time of the day or it can be always on. You can also choose the keyboard style whereby flat is just one color, you can have a palette whereby it's uh, getting darker you can have a gradient whereby as you can see there is a gradient dark gradient you can have even center gradient you can even choose the button style you can have flat buttons as you can see or you can have 3d buttons but I prefer flat it looks amazing you can also choose keyboard font there is system thin light regular bold black and all those next we look at the layout so you can have a keyboard with the action row whereby you have the numbers on top and you can change between the action row. You can have emojis, a copy paste and the numbers. As you can see it's really helpful or you could disable the action row at all. You can also configure the action row. You can have custom letters and words and that's a really awesome feature. You can also change the keyboard size. You can have it really small or you could make it really big. Let me just show you. And as you can see it's really big but i like a size about 95 percent and it looks amazing you can also enable split layout whereby the keyboard is split and there's a gap in the middle but i prefer the normal way and you can also have one hand mode whereby you can have it reduced to a certain size let's say 20 percent and then let's activate it so you can have it on the left or on the right or if you don't want that you can just choose the center so as you can see it makes it typing really easier or you could disable it by just again changing it to the center. Next you can also have voice key input and other stuff like that. Next we look at gestures. So you can enable keyboard gestures whereby the swipe gestures such as fast delete a word whereby left swipe on the key delete key to fast delete the last word. Up swipe on the delete key to fast delete all the words left or right swipe on the spacebar activates one hand mode long press and drag on the spacebar to move the cursor and also there is long press and drag with two fingers on the spacebar to select and these are all really useful gestures and you can either disable them or enable them there's also swipe to type whereby you can swipe on the keyboard to type words as you can see it can be really easy to type and very useful and you can either enable or disable that. As you can see if I disable it I won't be able to swipe to type. Moving on we have the input section where we have some smaller features such as double tapping on the spacebar to put a full stop or you can choose the key long press delay, the vibrate on key press or even sound on key press. You can also choose pop up on key press. Next we have languages. So here you can select your language. As you can see, you may have just selected system language, but you can select from so many different languages, as you can see over here. You can also have, add custom input styles and also have an SMS dictionary. You can also set the auto correction mode, as you can see, mine is modest. You can even have it very aggressive. You can also have a personal dictionary, next word suggestions, contact names, and many others. And a bonus feature over here is syncing all settings. Like if you have many devices and all devices have the Chrome or keyboard app then you can sync all your settings across all devices and this can be really helpful in for, instead of setting up the keyboard for every different device. That was all for this video guys. If you know any other keyboard that is really amazing and you want to share with me, leave it in the comments below. By the way, you guys will see my first collab on this channel soon. Thanks for watching and meet you guys in my next video. Until then, peace.